Hello, today we're going to continue going over volume. As a reminder, volume is how much space is inside of an object. In this problem here, we have a rectangular prism. We are given the dimensions 4 times 4 times 2. Now, as a reminder, that represents my length times my width times my height. Notice here my length is 1, 2, 3, 4 units. My width is one, two, three, four units, and I have a height of one, two units as well. To find the volume of this rectangular prism, your goal is to multiply the three numbers. Now, I like taking this into two steps, which is completely fine. Finding the area of my base, which is length times width, times my height of two. Now, 16 times two equals 32. And we can say this is 32 cubic units, or you can also do 32 units cubed. Both labels are correct. Now again, when you are finding the volume, you want to identify the length, the width, and the height. In this situation here, they gave those items to you. Now you are filling in that missing piece of the equation. Now in this next problem, we have another rectangular prism given to us. They said we have five times something times four equals 80. Now our goal here is to figure out that missing piece of information. So we can do this by looking at my rectangular prism and seeing what's given. Now first thing I'm gonna do is label my length, my width, and my height. My length here is one, two, three, four, five units, which in fact, that was given to us right here. My width is one, two, three, four. Now, my width here is four, and my height is one, two, three, four as well. Now, if I multiply five times four times four, in fact, I do get 80. Now, my goal here is to figure out that missing piece of information. I have my length, which was given. My width is four units. That's what's going in my missing box. And my height is four as well. Now, let's just confirm this is, equation is correct by multiplying the numbers. So now here I found the area of my base, which is 20 times my height of 4, and 20 times 4, in fact, is 80 cubic units, or you can say units cubed. But now here, my answer choice that I really wanted to see was what was that missing piece of information in my formula? So here, I would be typing in 4 units for my missing width. So you could do 4 units is ultimately the answer to this question. Yes, I still did find the volume to confirm that this 4 units is the correct missing piece of this rectangular prism. In this next problem, it says determine the volume of each box. Each block is one cubic unit. Now notice they gave us a part of this rectangular prism showing me the length, the width, and the height, but the entire container is not filled. However, they want us to find the volume of the entire container. So I'm gonna look at what's given to us. The first thing I'm going to identify is my length, my width, and my height. I like to always start looking at my base. My base here has a length of one, two, three units. It has a width of one, two units. And my height is one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna write my height right here of four units. Now I'm gonna write my volume formula of a rectangular prism. I have my length times my width times my height. Now, I always like starting finding the area of my base first, which is three times two is six. And now I have the area of my base times my height. Six times four, we're left with 24 cubic units you can type in, or you can also have units cubed. Both labels are correct. The answer to this problem would simply be 24 cubic units as the volume of this rectangular prism. Now in this one, we're gonna do the same thing. Again, it's asking us to determine the volume of each box. Notice it's not completely filled in with cubes. We have to determine what's given to us to help me figure out the volume of the entire container. So I'm gonna always look at my base first. I have a length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have a length of eight units and a width of one, two, three units here. My height, one, two, three, I have a height of three. 
Now, what I'm going to do here, again, my volume is my length times my width times my height. Now, again, I always like doing the area of my base first. Eight times three is 24. And now I have my area of my base times my height, which happens to be 72 cubic units, or you can have units cubed here as your answer. You could have also done three times three is nine, nine times eight is 72. Either way works, because we know for multiplication, the order doesn't matter. However, when looking at this problem, I do like to do the area of the base first, then multiply it by my height to help me find the volume of a rectangular prism. As you complete today's problems, I encourage you to continue using the formula given volume equals length times width times height because you will be given rectangular prisms. And to find the volume of a rectangular prism, it is important to identify the length, the width, and the height, and then multiply. As always, feel free to refer back to this video at any time to help you with today's activities.